It's the day investors have been waiting for. Facebook is now a publicly traded company. I'm Jill Schlesinger from CBS Money Watch. I'm joined by the hoodie wearing Mark Zuckerberg acolyte, Jack Otter, the executive editor. I just got this in celebration, in preparation for today. And now, you know what? If I had bought the stock, I'm not sure I would have made enough to actually pay for this thing. I'm in shock. The opening was kind of boring. All this hype. I mean, people literally lined up behind stanchions in Times Square around the NASDAQ board waiting for it to come off. It's a half an hour late. I expected it to rocket higher, and it kind of sat there at 42 and then drifted down. And now looks like trading about unchanged. So even at 38, Jack, this company's valuation is kind of off the charts. I mean, it looks like the P.E. based on last year's earnings, the price of the stock relative to the earnings it produces, 107. That sounds a little bit like Pets.com to me. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, it's, it's what, a um, hundred, well, about a hundred times earnings. Uh, it's, it's crazy. I mean, there's no reason to think, given what we've seen, that this company can actually justify its valuation. Now, I don't like to sell Sheryl Sandberg short. Clearly, Mark Zuckerberg, mm, my man, love him. pretty smart guy. So who knows what they'll pull out, but gosh, you know, I don't see it. Apple's earnings actually grew faster than Facebook's last year. And Apple, obviously, a much more mature company, but it's selling at 13 times earnings versus Facebook's 100 times earnings. Is this all hype, or is there <laughs> something behind it? I mean, I think that's what everybody wants to know, because today the valuation looks crazy, but if they can generate more revenue in the future, if they get a, other non-traditional revenue, then maybe could it justify that valuation? It absolutely could. Look, they've got 900 million users, so it's about 10 cents a user right now. So you could, you got a long way to go there. Um, if they can figure out how to monetize those users, who knows? And, and that's why there's all this hype, because it is so exciting. But could someone else come out with a newer, better Facebook due to Facebook, what Facebook did to MySpace? Uh, it would be tough, because I really don't want to migrate all my stuff over to a new one. On the other hand, you never know. Maybe they'll figure out a way to just drag it over. So with all the hype, and now we have it, it's done, uh, do you have an expectation going forward that now the coverage is going to be a little bit less excitable? Or do you think that people are still going to be watching this day by day, at least for the time being? I think they will be, but, you know, there's nothing like hype scorned, right? I mean, I think we all expected a great big pop, and now all the skeptics are saying, I told you so, and it could really turn against Facebook pretty hard. I mean, and now I think it's really in, in Zuckerberg and Sandberg's lap to say, hey, we really have something up our sleeve. Here's what the hackers did when they stayed up all last night. So, Jack, let's say you did get in on the offering, and let's say it even closes down on the day. Should you just get out and take your losses? <laughs> it's, it's a tough call. I would probably, the conservative part of me says, yes, you know, sell. Your losses are not going to be big. I don't know where it'll be, but a couple bucks at most. So, yes, I would say take your losses, put that money to work in the boring old index fund. I know. If you want to take a flyer, go somewhere where expectations are really low. I like the Europe ETF if I want to be a gambler today. Okay, that's interesting. You know, people think, oh my gosh, only the worst can happen. That's when you want to be a buyer. Like Buffett said, buy fear, don't buy greed. Ooh, Jack Otter, the, <laughs> the hoodie wearing contrarian. I like that. For more on Facebook, keep it right here on CBSMoneyWatch.com. Thanks for watching.